Speedy B has been on a winning streak as of recent with the F405 V3 stack in my Armor 5C and the F405 Mini stack in my Grindorino. Well, they're back again this time with a new stack, this time the F405 V4. So let's take a closer look at this and see what's improved. Now, if you're unaware, Speedy B has been providing quality electronics for some time now with tons of features for unbelievably low prices. And this new stack is said to be no different. So let's see what's inside. All right, you're greeted by a QR code here. You can go there and get the manual or download the SpeedyB app, which we should all get, especially since all of the SpeedyB flight controls come equipped with a Bluetooth module. Therefore, you can use your mobile device to interact and configure your flight controller. And here we go. We have the flight controller and ESC stick. And this thing is, it always looks beautiful, guys. It's just a combination of the color and the way they set this up, guys. They use like a black PCB board and this thing looks really good with the yellow contrast. So let's get this flight controller out of here. And the more impressive ESC. Now this one here is a 55 amp ESC. And this thing is a beast, guys. Now besides that, you have your accessories at the bottom. Let's take a look at what you get this time. And the first thing you see is a bag with some harnesses in here. Now you have a harness here from your flight controller to your ESC, and there's more than one in here. So it's got to see that they have two of them in here in case you have to rotate your flight controller or ESC, then you have a longer harness to still make it to the actual flight controller. Besides that, you also have another harness in here and that's for your VTX. Now we'll talk about that a little bit later, but this VTX does have a plug here for the DJI O3 air unit or your original air unit or Cadex Vista uh, VTX. Next, you have your hardware on here. You have some gummies, some nuts, some bolts, looks like uh, maybe an M3 bolt, and a huge capacitor as usual. This looks like a uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor, which is good. And last but not least, you have a pretty beefy and thick power lead here with an XT60 connector on here. So this is nice. This, this uh, insulation feels pretty good. It feels like silicone maybe. It might be silicone opposed to rubber, which is good for uh, isolating and for heat. Okay, so let's take a closer look at our flight controller here. And immediately it's refreshing here to see that this company here has some large pads on their flight controller with labels at each connection point. So no need for schematics. Everything is labeled on this flight controller here. Really, really cool. Now, as I said earlier, this is an F4 or 5 stack, and you can see the main CPU right here on the board right here. Now, to the left of that, you also have your Bluetooth module. We talked about this having Bluetooth built into it, so you can interact with the SpeedyB app, and then you can configure this if you want to in the field. To the left of that, you have your Bluetooth antenna, and straight down from there, you have your LED lights to show your battery percentage if you don't have a battery checker. Pretty cool feature if you can see that while uh, it's in the drone. Now to the right of that, you also have your barometer. This one here is equipped with a barometer. So if you're flying and you wanna see how high you are, and this can also be used if you're gonna do return to home with Betaflight 4.4, this will give you more precise landing. Now to the right here, you have your USB-C port, which is good. Most of the modern flight controls are going away from micro USB and going to USB-C, which is good for power and for just versatility when plugging your cable into the flight controller. Now below that you have your BEC. This is a five volt BEC, good for three amps, which is really good. The older version was two amps, so it's good to see an improvement here on this flight controller. You also have your boot button over here as well. Now to the bottom here, you have your gyroscope, and that's what most people wanna know. This one here has a ICM 42688P gyroscope. Now I've used this gyroscope in the Grinderino. This was on the F405 mini stack, and I've had really good success with that. And they've made a lot of improvements to make this gyroscope here work, including having dual power supply towards it and multiple filtering going to the gyro so it reduces the interference going to the gyro, giving you a cleaner signal. And as I said before, I never had any issues with it on the Grind Arena here. So that's a major improvement here on this deck. Besides that you have all your grommets already in here, your little gummies in here. Besides that you have LED pads on all four corners of the flight controller and you do have the ability to connect your GPS to this flight controller, which is pretty cool because um, this one here will power up your GPS 
even without the battery connected. Now, I don't remember if the original F405 V3 had that feature, but I do know that's available here in the mini stack as well, which is really good. Now, that's a pretty good feature because you can keep your VTX off, keeping it cooler, and that will power on your GPS module, giving you the ability to acquire your satellites. Besides that, this flight controller here can support up to eight motors. We do have the plug under here. We'll talk about that very shortly. Now, on the back here is just as interesting. You have a lot going on back here. And the first thing I noticed is this micro SD card slot here so you can log or data log all the information going to the flight controller in case you wanna you know, do some tuning or use the information coming from your flight controller and gyro for stabilization in gyro flow. Besides that, you have another BEC here. This is the nine volt BEC, good for also three amps, which is just crazy, guys. And we talked about this flight control being able to control up to eight motors. Here's your jack for your first four motors. And this goes to the ESC via the harness right here, which is pretty cool, pretty clean and a plug and play affair. Besides that, you have the other port right here, and this is for your VTX, as we talked about earlier. I like that manufacturers are going towards that. That really reduces the soldering on all these boards and makes the build a lot easier, guys. Really, really cool. Besides that, you have the same pads under the flight controller here for your actual LED pads. So in case you want to mount this upside down or right side up, you still have the pads available to you on both sides of the flight controller. Overall, this thing here is well made. They've made some small improvement, but good improvements on this board by changing the gyro, having more power in your BEC, and just adding some small little details in here to make this a better flight controller overall. Let's take a look at the ESC, which is gonna be a big deal here. This thing here is huge, guys. Now, the first thing that's noticeable here is just this big old heatsink on here. This reminds me of more of the expensive uh, ESCs on the market, something associated with the F7 processor, and to imagine this is included with this stack for this affordable price. They've really crammed a lot of features and performance into this stack here, so that's pretty cool. Now, this is a welcome sight. This thing will keep the ESC cooler and therefore make it more reliable. With that, there is a higher threshold. Therefore, they have increased the power output on this ESC. It used to be 50 amps, now it's 55 amps with 70 amps burst, so that's Pretty impressive. Now, I've always been saying that you can use these things on like five inch quads, maybe six or seven inch quads. And we're getting to the point where at this point, you really don't need maybe an F7 processor. You can get it with the F4 processor, a stack like this, and put this into a very, very large drone. Now, this thing here is pretty cool. You see the little, I didn't even realize that earlier, but you do have these fins on here to direct air. But that's a welcome sign. This thing is beefier. It is a little bit heavier than your traditional, your older uh, stack that we had before. But as you can see, it is branded very well. Now this one here does have the BL Heli S on here, but you can also flash blue gen here to get bi-directional G-Shot as well. Besides that, these pads are super, super large, very, very large and very well labeled on here, very, very nicely, guys. Besides that, you have your battery terminal here, the points, and you have the two small holes here for your large capacitor on here. Besides that, it looks very, very neat on the hair. It does says BL Heli S, which is the firmware on here. Besides that, these FETs here are huge, and SpeedyB has indicated that they've lowered the resistance on this whole ESC, therefore generating less heat. So you have a bigger heat sink, and the ability to generate less heat gives you a more reliable ESC, guys. This thing is amazing. It's a tank, guys. And I'm uh, eager to put this thing to the test, guys. Okay, let's see if we can connect our flight control to the SpeedyB app here. So let's open up the SpeedyB app right here and let's plug in our flight controller. All right. All right, I have a SpeedyB app right here. It will allow location. Uh, we're gonna allow Bluetooth here. Turning on Bluetooth, we're gonna turn that off. And let's see if it detects something. Let's add one. Holy crap, so I found it immediately. Found SpeedyB F405 V4. We're just gonna connect. It's connecting. Please set a password. Wow, you can put a password on here. Okay, we're gonna skip that for now, but that's a pretty cool feature. So the others didn't have that. So in case you wanna protect other users from going into your flight control and hacking it, changing some settings, you can put a password on there. That's a pretty cool feature. Good job, SpeedyB. We're gonna skip it for now, and it's connecting to the app, and here you go. Let's see if this thing here is working. If I move this, there we go. So, it's on Betaflight 4.4.2, so that's really, really cool. 
All right, so here we go. We've entered into the SpeedyBee app here, and you can see all the tabs around here. Everything is included on here. This looks just like the full-fledged Betaflight uh, software here. So here's your setup. You have all your filters, all your presets. This thing is pretty cool. Obviously, my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi or to my 4G. You have all these things in here, guys. It's, it's crazy. Here's your ports. You can set everything. There's all your modes. Guys, this, if you don't have this app, just, just get it, download it. And this can work on other traditional flight control as well. If you have a USB-C port, you can connect it to your flight controller and do the same thing. Here's your battery and power. Here's your fail safe, black box, and then you have your CLI. All right, let's see here. I can do this, DIF is ready here, and see what we get. And here you go, clean slate, nothing else on here. All right, let's uh, disconnect from here, exit in CLI. There you go, that's your Speedy B app, guys. Really, really impressive. Let me know what you think about this new stack here, the F45 V4. I know the F45 V3 came out not too long ago, but they've made some pretty good improvements here and the price is not that much different, guys. Having said that, I'll leave links to all these products down below, including my review of these two stacks right here in the Grand Arena, as well as the Armor 5C. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.